Endoscopic, yes, I'll start. The endoscopic surgery is popular everywhere in the world now because it's uh, the most valuable way to solve a spinal pathology as a minimally invasive spine surgery. Today, I will talk about full endoscopic HDF. Endoscopic surgeons are obsessed to have uh, the idea for uh, just one pathology for a long time with a transferminal intraminal approach since uh, the endoscopic debut 30 years ago, the endoscopic spine surgery is setting down as a next generation spine surgery. I think the, the worth of endoscopic operation is to avoid fusion surgery because these days with the, the current available endoscopic approach, almost everything is possible even though it's multiple pathologies uh, pathology, multiple uh, pathologies, and uh, we are living in spinal endoscopic age that have a solution to solve a cervical problem in case of cervical, the herniated disc, and the foramenal stenosis, and OPLR with a decompression. So we've done a lot of work on cervical endoscopic surgery uh, prior before 2016, I had to perform open microscope HDF like this, the, in case of a paracentral disc foramenal stenosis. And uh, also the, the for uh, C2 root decompression in case of rheumatoid pulse arthritis. Now we can do endoscopic decompression. Before we perform the C1 to fusion surgery. And uh, right, in case of a myelopathy from the, the atlantic axial shoulder tumor, C1 to without the instability, we can make a space with the endoscopic decompression. And uh, in case of multiple level cervical stenosis, we can do it also with just one skin incision posterior approach. Appearance the, of endoscope surgery in spine field have uh, substantially changed the indication and it will change all that in the near future. That's why all spine the society and surgeon the want to run endoscopic surgery now. That's pre and post operatively. And but, but sometimes we need fusion surgery and the implantation with the anterior approach to solve the problem in cervical cases because it's not easy to access to the uh, pathologian with a posterior approach like this, uh, the middle central horned disc and the central calcified the disc OPLL. The endoscope surgeon has uh, extensive experience in developing the technique PCD, the how to approach it to the anterior cervical space for discectomy with uh, just a small four millimeter endoscope system for a long time. Endoscopic HDF technique is based on uh, this PCD uh, technique. This operation with a small skin is done with a safety. So we can use a bigger eight millimeter out diameter endoscopy in HDF. So we can use uh, the calcium punch, drill, and anything like uh, the same like uh, microscope open surgery. Let's talk about the reality now. The, my case, my indication, or my case was a one level myelopathy, central, the disc, OPLA calcified lesion. Before operation, it's important to Oil damage the anterior visceral organ, the cardiac schist, esophagus, trachea. Compared to the open microscopic HDF, advantage of endoscopic HDF, 
or less damage of anterior neck or visceral organ with a small skin incision with a clean endoscopic view. The most common co complication can be the same like open microscopic HDF. That's why we need to talk about surgical instrument and evaluation of a surgical techniques together in order to give you some kind of perspective of where we are right now with surgical instrument and where we are gonna be going in the future and to prevent complication of a new technology. One of the most serious complications can be the uh, as a focal injury during the operation. So insertion of a Levin tube is very important. Even though as is, uh, its focus is more right side, in right side approach, gentle push the anterior cervical the organ include its focus with the finger to the opposite side. And then we can use the needle to uh, prepare serial instrument and endoscopy. The middle portion of a visceral organ uh, has the characteristic of mobility and uh, fixed to upper and lower cervical structure like uh, the string, the instrument. So surgeon can push visceral organ to opposite side to make a space for instrumentation. The general anesthesia uh, for endoscopy HDF is recommended like open HDF. Keep in mind to insert the keep relevant tube to know location of uh, esophagus during the operation is very, very important. And the most uh, asked question uh, is this. The everyone wonder how to insert uh, uh, 14 millimeter width and uh, seven millimeter the height of the cage with uh, just a 1.5 or two centimeters skin is done. 16, 16 diameter circle is a 51 millimeter circumference by formula that makes it possible to cage it to pass through the anterior neck. The folding, the 51 circumference in half can be 25 millimeter. The using the skin elasticity, we can stretch in skin to maximum two centimeter to insert the cage. And then we can insert the big size cage. And the uh, right, skin incision size difference between microscope and the endoscope is like this. The real operation, skin incision, endoscopy, the working channel and the cage. The, after landing endoscope system on the anterior disc space, we can use the instrument like a punch, drill, forcep, same like uh, the microscopic uh, HDF. I have 18 case of endoscope ACDF from 2017. Main indication was cervical spondylitic malopathy. Bus and the JOA score were improved significantly, was operative 12 months. And the disc height, cops angle, also significantly increased at the 12 month after the surgery. And the fusion rate, subsidence, and central al alignment can be the same because we use the same the KG, the like the uh, microscope open surgery. And uh, the most, uh, the second question is most of us uh, surgeon ask me the, how to set, how to insert a KG through the narrow endoscopic working channel. You put the cage hold first. First, and then cage must be securely fit for the implantation. And the two uh, centimeter uh, need to be installed before the implantation.
Okay, let me start with an uh, example for, from the cases. Uh, young male patients uh, have myelopathic 5 6 due to central herniated disc. Just uh, the AP diameter was just uh, 3 millimeter. What is your option? All process are performed under the endoscopic view, discectomy, the removal of, uh, of posterior osteopite. You can see the dura after remove the PLL and the cage insertion, keep the drain to end the stage of uh, this uh, the operation. You can see the esophagus move to the safe opposite side during the operation. You can use punchy to remove posterior osteopite, confirm, and the post operative x ray, and MRI, AP view, screening, scar. Six months, the follow up x ray shows the good the location of a KG. And the second uh, case is the Barclays C5-6 uh, also due to uh, central connected disc post operative MRI. The, as I mentioned before, all process are under the endoscopic view during the operation, water irrigation, less bleeding, can guarantee to clean view like this video. Mm. It's a PLL, the Jura, the process and the post-operative. It's a uncomfortable joint opposite side. And the PLL, you can see the Jura, And uh, we can perform the artificial uh, disc replacement with the endoscopy throughout our experience. We are constantly presented with uh, countless opportunity to improve ourselves. In two cases, ADR. So you can see the Duraplization after removal PLL, discectomy, and the post osteopite remove, cages insertion, measurement to this height. Okay, uh, if you want to watch a video of endoscope surgery more, please visit the surgeryplace.com to watch a video. It's my the chapter uh, in textbook for endoscopic anterior cervical discectomy and fusion. In, in conclusion, so we have to keep in going and of course we should have and influence each other. Uh, thank you so much for your attention and I look forward to, to your uh, comment. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Lim. It was a wonderful presentation. Eye-opening for the first time we have seen a video of an actual cage insertion and you using a eight millimeter scope with a big working channel is amazing, the use of proper keratin rounders in the cervical spine. We have been struggling with two millimeter and three millimeter uh, small instruments and to see you working with something so comfortable is fantastic. It's amazing. So thank you, thank you so much for your presentation, sir.